What's up my YouTube family? It's your boy Roberto checking in with another video guys. Hope everybody's doing wonderful today. I'm doing great. So I've been I've made a video about this before in the past on my old channel that you guys of course know of is deleted, permanently banned. Uh and I was talking about the United States Army going up against the Giants in Qadar, Afghanistan. Sorry if I said the name wrong. So they have, Afghanistan has been known for years to have giants roaming the caves of Afghanistan. For years, thousands of years, there have been stories by the locals on how these giants kill, uh, kill innocent locals. They basically, they basically kill humans for fun. And these giants are standing well over 10 to 12 feet tall huge muscular beings and when the united states invaded afghanistan in 2001 they were having a lot of issues going up against these giants that were basically not being phased by their bullets or their weapons because their skin is so thick with all that fur it was hard to penetrate them and they were killing a lot of soldiers but this is stuff that's classified and will not be released for a very long time. But, of course, word of mouth got out because people in the military get out, they tell stories, stories get around. People in Afghanistan tell stories, stories get around. But anyways, back to what I was saying, United States government tried to cover it up. The giants in Afghanistan gave the Soviet Union the same problem the same problem and it's been an ongoing issue in afghanistan now these giants are not there to protect the afghans but they we know there's there are giants that roam this that roam this earth we all know that and we talk about it at this point we just don't know where they're located at but for sure in uh qadar afghanistan there are giants so the military from the United States kept losing soldiers to these giants and they were trying to they were trying to kill off the giants so it would be easier for them to find Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden was said to be hiding in caves and this is how they all came about. Now if you're from Afghanistan, you know exactly where to go and where not to go in order to avoid these giants. Well, you got to think uh people from an invading country, uh, the occupiers don't know about this stuff so they're searching for bin laden in caves that bin laden when they're going to because bin laden knows that there are giants roaming in these caves so the soldiers gather up get their equipment and they go out but the sad and scary part is about them going out is the high-ranking military officials knew about this but they didn't want to tell the lower ranking military personnel that were going in these caves because they didn't want to scare them and prevent them from not doing their job. But the only difference, the high ranking military officials assumed that Bin Laden had some kind of relationship with these giants. He didn't know much about them, but he thought maybe Bin Laden had some kind of relationship and they would protect him some kind of way, but that's definitely not it. <laughs> these things don't care who you are, Bin Laden, Obama, whoever, they're going to kill you. So, long story short, United States sends their Marines into these caves. Uh, we'll say they send 100 Marines in there. They lose 25 of them. 25 out of 100 Marines to these giants. Because there's a whole cave full of them. Not just one or two. There's a whole bunch of them. And these giants are built like something something like the Hulk like they're very very strong and muscular and they also feed on the flesh of the humans that they kill a lot of people are scared to go to that area of Afghanistan because of the stories Afghanistan giants are something to be reckoned with. And that is part 
of the reason the American government wanted to invade Afghanistan. Yes, there were lots of other things, and that wasn't the main thing. But our government knew about this. Our military personnel, the majority of them did not, except for the high-ranking or high-ranking officials. But this was something that our government was trying to hide because they wanted to expose these creatures and find out what's really going on because of fear of Afghanistan using these giants to work against the rest of the world. Imagine if uh, the Afghans learned to control these giants. They would use them for warfare and it would make it tough on the surrounding countries. The US, the US knew this, but they didn't understand that these giants were not under the control of the Afghans. They did not. Now, back to these soldiers, they're in these caves, they're lurking through the caves and then they get so far in, they start hearing noises. They start thinking it's an avalanche or something, not an avalanche, an earthquake or something, the ground is shaking. But little do they know, these are the footsteps of a giant. A giant. Everybody's scared. And you gotta think inside these caves can get really dark at times. So depending on the time they went in there, it could have been really dark. And they could have been just, you know, trying their best to find something in the dark. But imagine seeing a 12 foot giant coming towards you in the dark, full speed. And your bullets have no effect on it. It's a scary thing. The Afghan giants are one of the most feared things in the world. And only the governments of the world really too much, really know about these, these uh, stories and, and the truth about these giants. And there are giants all around the world, but the Afghan giants are the most popular and the ones that are most well known and have been seen more by people than any other giants. Locals go missing all the time because these giants are feeding off of them. I heard that they do sacrifices for these giants out of fear of the giants taking over their villages or their homes. This is the Afghan giants. Now, is there footage of these giants is what we want to know. Is there anybody brave enough to go try to get footage? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Because, I mean, if it was just a couple of these things, yeah, people would test their luck. But because there's a whole family and a system of them, who's going to risk it? Nobody. Think about it, guys. The U.S. wants to create super soldiers comparable to those Afghan giants. So that is part of the main reason they wanted to get a hold of one. Get his DNA, find out why it's so powerful, and just research it. And then create the ultimate super soldier. That is why. That is why. So, I don't know, guys. still doing more research on this but i'll definitely be doing a part two to the afghan giants let me know in the comment section how you feel about it have you heard stories about it and uh does it scare you or what and do you think the united states had a lot to do with this and was this part of the reason we invaded let me know in the comment section guys have a great 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 day roberto conspiracy files checking out